Hello, welcome to the first of our blogs on the making of The Hobbit. It's amazing to be back here again. This is Bag End, exactly as it was in The Lord of the Rings. And it's actually built in our B stage here in Wellington, and which is exactly the same stage as it was built 12 years ago. We've been shooting for a few days now, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to give you a little look at the lead up to filming and some of the pre-production that led up to a, the first day of our shoot. And I look forward to keeping you up to date as we go through the next two or three years. See you soon. Oh, you're in 3D. Looking good. See ya. And this pulls beautifully. Yeah. This yeah. looks great when it's drawn. Oh, so it actually works. And he can also go fighting with the remnants of sort of sort of hanging onto his body and, and be impaling people. Yeah. <laughs> We wanted to create a very non-human okay. shape. We do need to do a little vlog. You might want to say hi to the fans of The Hobbit. The fans. Yeah. Shy artists. Oh dear, oh dear. So we're uh, going up to wardrobe and we're having a look at a couple of dwarf um, wardrobe and makeup fittings, which is always exciting. Not that we'll show you much in this particular blog, because we'll save that for the future, but at least you'll get to see a little bit of our wardrobe department. A lot of very busy people working in a lot of costumes. A lot of interesting textures and detail and leather and embossing, and it's all pretty cool up here. It's like a sort of a, a big uh, wizard's workshop. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. No. You can use them like a mace. Oh, yeah. So you can just Absolutely. swing and knocking and then cut the throat yeah. and whack it, whack it. Glenn was saying there's a nice so, you know. bit where you just go <laughs> and take right. out about 10 orcs. Right, with those, yeah. With yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is a familiar set, it's Elrond's Chambers and it's an exact copy of the one that we had in the Fellowship of the Ring. In fact just over here on the balcony is where the Council of Elrond took place. Where um, the Fellowship was formed and Frodo volunteered to take the Ring to Mordor. But also in The Hobbit there's going to be a lot of new bits of Rivendell that we haven't seen before. Some really cool bits of Rivendell actually that we've, will keep us a little surprised for the time being. Now there's an old friend upstairs, let's just have a quick look. Here we are, I'm sure you'll recognise the statue where Narsal, the broken sword, sits. And of course, in the time of the Hobbit, the sword is going to be here. And it is strange walking around here because you kind of, it was, you know, 10 or 11 years ago. And I'm used to looking at a set like this on film, you know, and now we're walking back into it again. It's almost like you've stepped inside a movie. It's a very weird experience. When we have a dwarf locked off, we should... This is where we're going to be shooting. At the very beginning of our shoot, it's the goblin tunnels below the Misty Mountains. It's uh, a very iconic scene in The Hobbit where Bilbo has an encounter with, uh, well, you know who it's with, don't you, if you read The Hobbit. No need to spoil it for anybody that hasn't. But uh, this is like a little network of caves. Look, there's a whole other little set of passageways down here. It's very um, claustrophobic. But one of the things we've done in order to be able to shoot the shots is to make sure that all the different walls of the cave can be removed so that our big bulky cameras can actually shoot the angles that we need. Oh my God, look at, look at this thing here. That looks like a foot or an arm. Oh, I don't know. That looks rather creepy, doesn't it? Ooh. Okay. So how many chairs do we need? 
for instance, should we... Um, I reckon Bomba sits at the end. Of, and then, oh and then God, there's sorry. a slight grapple, and then when you, when you pop down, it's like... Yeah. And then it's like... Now I know it's sort of safe. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, interrupt. Yeah. This is blocking. This is sort of not really rehearsing, but we're kind of getting the actors are walking through and we're sort of talking about what to do with the scene. And it's actually fun because it means when we come to shoot this, we've got a plan. It'd be good, it'd be good if you come forward and, and then you realise there's something on your, on your, on your foot and, you, and perhaps you, you, come, you try to get, get rid of it first, you know, and then you kind of... This will be fun. This will be more fun when everybody's in makeup and costumes and dying of the heat. Uh, sort of on the corner of the table, we've got Killy. Awesome. Next to Killy, Philly. And then uh, Dory. Dory. And then Nori. Oh my god. Ori, Dory, Nori, Biffa Bomba, Biffa Bomba, Loin, Loin, Nori, Dory, Nori. This is a nightmare. We'll have Gandalf here in Thorin. So I, th I thought it would be good to give you this whole doorway to play and be kind of. The fire will be blazing as well. Yeah. 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 Well, you have been oh, is it? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, well, my prediction is it's all going to go incredibly well on the day. Don't, don't you agree? Um, the tricky thing is that uh, there are 13 dwarves in this set. <laughs> the good news is you're not in a fat suit. No, no, no. I am in a nose and false eyebrows, a wig, a moustache and a beard, you're, but you're right, no fat suit. You're way, no fat suit. You're way ahead. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a winner. You're a winner every step of the way. And we can stick a fan up your robe just to <laughs> sort of give you a bit of air conditioning. Promises, promises. <laughs> well, that's going to work with a little bit of finessing. That's going to yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of work. Morning. 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 How are you? Morning. So I'm officially the first person in the makeup chair on the Hobbit. Officially. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Um... waited so long for this day to begin this extraordinary journey filming The Hobbit. I would like to wish them good luck, good health and good harmony and Martin would like to say something. Thank you Richard. My name is Martin Freeman. I'm in the cast as well. Uh, he stole everything I was about to say in Maui. <laughs> As Richard said, this has been a long time coming today. It's been even longer than we thought it would be. And so I hope at the end of this journey we are all as close with each other as at the moment we have the potential to be. So thank you very much. Uh, hello everybody, I'm Andy Zirkis. I am standing up there just to say on behalf of the returning crew and cast who have come gathered here uh, to go on the journey and, uh, and we, we're just very very grateful to your incredible hospitality uh, and to have the, the opportunity to share the passion for telling such an amazing amazing story in such an amazing country with such beautiful people. Thank you. You know, for a long time I thought that going back to the amazing experience of Lord of the Rings wouldn't be a, 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 good, a good idea. Um, but really, you know, now I've come completely around because films are stressful and they're hard to make, but ultimately what makes them fun is the people that you work with. And the fact that, you know, we're going to be working with a lot of the old gang, with a lot of friends, and obviously making 
some new friends is really the point of being here. So uh, I'm extremely thrilled. If somebody came up to me today and said that we could <coughs> carry on pre-production for another six weeks, I'd say no, no. Hell no, let's just start shooting. <laughs> In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. <laughs>